polysaccharide uh, macromolecule, uh, a polymer with a few hundreds to a few thousands of monosaccharides joined by glycosidic linkage. Some polysaccharides serve as a storage materials, hydrolyzed as needed to provide sugar for cell. Mm, the other polysaccharides serve as building material for structure that protect the cells or the whole organism. Uh, the character of polysaccharide insoluble in water and not sweet in taste. Okay, they are different compared to monosaccharide and disaccharide. Okay, so example polysaccharide, we have starch, glycogen, cellulose, chitin, and murine. Okay, these five types of polysaccharide we will discuss in detail. So remember this polysaccharide, they have uh, two uh, important functions uh, as a food storage and or as a building a material for cell or for the whole organism. Okay, now we discuss uh, a polysaccharide for storage. Okay, the storage polysaccharide is a starch. Okay, for both plant and animal, store sugar for uh, cellular respiration in the form of storage polysaccharide. Plant store starch a polymer of glucose monomer as a granule within the cellular structure known as a plastid, which include a chloroplast. Synthesizing starch enable the plant to stop sulfur glucose. Because of glucose is a major cellular fuel, starch represents store energy. The sugar can be later be withdrawn with a carbohydrate bank with hydrolysis, which breaks the bond between the glucose monomer. Uh, for animal, okay, most of animal, including humans, also have enzymes that can be hydrolyzed plant starch, making a glucose available as a nutrient for cell and also for cellular respiration. Potato, tuber, and greens are the major source of starch in a human's diet. For Malay, we have rice as a major source of starch in our diet. Uh, most of the glucose in the starch are joined by 1,4-glycosidic bond or 1,4-glycosidic linkage. This is a between or linking between carbon number 1 and carbon number 4. Okay, like a glucose unit in maltose. The simplest form of starch is amylose. Another one is amylopectin. The starch consists of alpha glucose, uh, they're made up of two components, amylose and amylopectin. Okay, for amylose, they are linear unbranched polymer of alpha glucosidic bleed together by 1,4 glycosidic bond. The structure of amylose are coiled into a helix of a hydrogen bond between a hydroxyl group of a glucose subunit. So look at the figure, the structure of glucose. Uh, the binding is between carbon number one and carbon number four. Okay. Okay, this figure shows different structure 
of amylose and amylose pectin. The example is a storage structure in a granule in a potato. Okay, look at amylose structure. They are unbranched. Okay, and amylose pectin. They are branches. Okay, animals store a polysaccharide called a glycogen, a polymer of glucose that is like amylopectin but more extensively branches. Okay, vertebrates store glycogen mainly in liver and muscle cells. Okay, this uh, the process involved is a hydrolysis. So hydrolysis of glycogen in this cell release a glucose when the demand of sugar increase. Okay, this store fuel cannot sustain an animal for long. However, in humans, for example, glycogen store are depleted in about a day unless they are replenished by consumption of food. Okay, uh, this is an issue of concern in a low carbohydrate diet, which can result in weakness. Okay, uh, this character of glycogen also less soluble in water. Okay, this character. Uh, they are less soluble in water. Okay. Uh, okay. This figure show the structure of the virgin, which is there are more branches compared to amylopectin. Okay. Organism build strong material from a structural polysaccharide. Okay, for example here, polysaccharide called a cellulose, which is a cellulose is a major component of a tough wall of a plant cell. Okay, mm, this um, in the, this uh, global scale of plant produce almost billions trillions of uh, cellulose for a year. Uh, which is uh, the most abundant organic compound on earth. They are different, uh, different uh, two different type of uh, glucose for cellulose, which is alpha and uh, beta. Okay, the actually they are two slightly different ring structure. Uh, when the glucose form a ring, the hydroxyl group attached to a uh, number one carbon is uh, positioned either below or above the plane of the ring. Uh, in starch, all the glucose monomer are uh, in all configuration of the alpha glucose uh, monomer. Uh, which is they are in the same orientation. This one between each uh, alpha glucose, uh, alpha 1 for glycosidic, but they are different with cellulose, which is all beta glucose monomer uh, upside down with respect to the neighborings. The differing glycosidic leakage in starch and cellulose give two molecules distinct 3D shape, whereas certain starch molecules are largely helical. A cellulose molecule is a street. Okay, cellulose is never branches and some hydroxyl group on its glucose monomer are free to hydrogen bond with hydroxyl of other cellulose molecule lying parallel to it. Okay, these paracellulose molecule held together, this way are groups into a microfibril, which is the strong building material for plants. Okay, we discuss in detail this figure show a hydroxyl group 
or the glucose bolivar are free to hydrogen bond with the hydroxyl of other cellular molecule they can be a uh, microfibril which is the cable like a microfibril a strong building material for plant another important structure for sacara is h team uh, which is a uh, the carbohydrate used by arthropods like insect. This insect, example, spider, uh, to build the exoskeleton. What is an exoskeleton? Exoskeleton is a hard case that surround the soft parts of animal. They are made up of chitin embedded in layer of protein. The case is uh, leathery and flexible at first but become hardened when the protein are chemically linked to each other. Uh, chitin also we can find in some fungi uh, which use the polysaccharide rather than cellulose as a building material for their cell wall. The chitin is similar to cellulose with beta linkage except that the glucose monomer of chitin has a nitrogen containing appendage. Again, this is a uh, chitin which is embedded in protein from exoskeleton of arthropod. And now, this is chitin is used to make a strong and flexible surgical treat. Okay, the last one is a murin, uh, the last polysaccharide that we will be discuss. The murin we can find in bacterial cell wall, and this murin consists of polysaccharide cross-linked with amino acid. Uh, 